not seeing any of them here now. Oh god. What the hell is beyond that door? I guess we have no other decision but to head in. Weapons shall not harm. Shall not be required, I do not believe. How's it going everybody? A Pillow here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic time. I know I am. Last time, the door has opened. We're about to figure out exactly what's going on inside. Being the mighty gravity wizard means that I go in with nothing but the gravity gloves to figure out exactly what this might be. Make our way into the light. Teleport me to where thou needs me to be. I feel the power growing. Growing deep within. The ultimate gravity wizard has come home. Ah oh god, it's like England, it's raining! This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. So this is the heart of the game. This is the final area. I see they've had some gravity wizards here before. My controller is still playing up on that side. To the point where I take screenshots. I mean, there is a hole in the middle. I kind of want to see what's in it. But I feel that the best view is going to be from that little pedestal in the middle there. Rather than me just going to the edge. There it is. The lever that ends all of this madness. Turns everything to dust. Begins a new start. The sword of eternity belongs to me. Oh, what? Oh God. The sword. The hell? What's moving? I can't see anything moving, but I'm here it oh god. You're messing with the wrong gravity wizard, motherfuckers. Wait, it's not blasting me with evil lasers, it's blasting me with stars. Oh god, no, evil lasers! <laughs> the gravity shall protect me! <laughs> Can I outheal it? No, it's not killing me enough, it's fine. <laughs> Just cheese. <laughs> Always has been. Wait a minute. A 
that's a, that's a lot of gravity spell right there did I just glass the planet getting some real halo reach vibes going on guys <laughs> yes Well, it wasn't as big as I was hoping. I was hoping it would cover the whole world, but, eh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Hmm. Through the ashes of sacrifice, may the, uh, the cycle of life once again. Wait, does that mean it's over? Is that character just dead? Did we just kill Steve? Steve didn't sacrifice. Oh God. Is this a... I've been there. The kicking update. The modding update. I came around about this time, yeah. That's the one. That's when I turned up the index controller update. So I got an index on release. And I bought this one of my first games. U8 sorcery update, yeah. Where the game got very interesting. Update. U10, the dungeon update. The groundworks of the game to come. The home update, yep. Mod manager update, U12. Came swimming. Then 1.0, the end. I've spent over 120 hours in this game and I can tell you if you don't have this game in VR and you have a VR headset, what the hell are you doing? Now I know the Nomad is a little bit behind on this game, but still, this is the most fun you can have in VR. Okay. And believe it. This game fucking kicks ass. But yeah, that is the end of the game. We go back home. We see where we started. We see what we've ended up with. And we realize that we did well. We did very well. There we go. Beautiful. Is it not? Get that lightning in here. Let's see what we end up with. Hmm. 
So that is the end. The update is done. The eye was defeated. But most importantly, I had a great time doing it. And I thank you so much for stopping by and, for, and coming to see this. Between the treasures that we've made and the friends we've made along the way, I thank you very much for being part of this series. And I hope I can bring you more content on Blade and Sorcery in the very near future. Whether it be modded content or maybe another run. I thank you very much for joining this 20 plus part series on Blade and Sorcery. Thank you for the developers for making such a wonderful game. And thank you all for watching. Goodbye. A pillow out. Peace.